Hi there, and welcome to this quick tutorial how to overwrite text wrap in InDesign. The text wrap panel is one of the most essential tools in InDesign if you're designing magazine layout templates. If you're including images, graphic elements, or even pull quotes, the text wrap panel can help create a boundary that allows objects to repel the text. For this quick tutorial, you will need this book image that is isolated in a white background. If you'd like to use a different image, be sure to check out Envato Elements. They've got a high quality library that is increasingly growing, and there you'll find many great options for isolated images. So let's get started with this tutorial. Head over into InDesign, click on create new document, and here it doesn't matter what size of a, a page we choose, just choose any size. I'll change the units to centimeters, that will be easier. And I'll just change the name of the document to text wrap panel. Click on create. And before we get started, we need our elements. So select the text tool from the toolbar or T on your keyboard and draw a text box on the whole page. We need some text here. So right click, select fill with placeholder text. And now we need the object that will repel the text. In this case, I will draw a circle. So select the ellipse tool or L on your keyboard and press shift option. So you can create an even circle that starts in the middle. Here I'll just change the fill color to cyan so we can see this better. I'll place this right in the middle. And to open the text wrap panel, head over to window, text wrap. I'll drag this out so we can see it as a single panel. And here at the top, we have all the buttons that gives us the options of how to repel the text. We have the offset option. We have the wrap options and the contour options. And we'll look at this at the bottom later. You will notice that the first button is activated. And this means that there is no text wrap option uh, applied to any of the elements that we have on the page as of now. Select the circle and then select the wrap around bounding box. That will be the second button. This option will limit the text to go right up to the frame the circle is in or the bounding box. So every element in InDesign has either a frame or a bounding box that it's the same thing. So since this circle is inside a square text frame, that's what um, that's the shape that we are seeing now. Keep the circle selected and click on the wrap around object shape. This option will create a border around the actual shape and not the frame. So if you have a circle, then the text will wrap around that circle in its shape or the same will be if you have an oval or any kind of other shape. And this becomes really useful. Um, I'll show you later on how we can make the text wrap around, for example, the book, the image that we'll be working on. Let's go to the next button and that will be the jump object option. So this option forces the text to split into two right where the object is and it prevents the text from wrapping on the sides. So it will, you will just have a top and a bottom uh, text. Select the circle and click on the jump to next column button. And for this, we need to split the text frame into two columns. So select the text column, press command B to open the text frame options and set the number of columns to two. Let's move the circle to the side. And here you will see that the text will be forced to automatically jump to the next column because the circle is blocking it. We can try it with three columns here. Select the text frame and press command B. Set the number of columns to three, click OK. And I'll just make the circle a little bit smaller. And here you can see that the text will just jump to the next column, leaving the bottom of the uh, second column empty. Here I'll go back and set the column number to one and select the wrap around bounding box. I'll move the circle here to the center and set the offset to one centimeter. So this will automatically create a margin around the object. If you're using the wrap around object shape, so here, since we have a circle, then we'll have a, a circular margin. And very similarly is with the last two buttons. 
So you'll just have uh, that extra margin that you need when you don't want the text to just come up right to the object that you have. You can also invert the text wrap option. So instead of creating, let's say, an offset, you will be creating an inset. So the text will pass about one centimeter um, into the circle. If you set the offset to zero, well, you have the invert options checked, then the text will go into the circles frame. Next, let's look at how to wrap around images. So for this, I'll move the circle out to the side. I will locate the book image that I downloaded from Envato Elements and I'll drag it into Adobe InDesign. Place it in the middle and um, we're going to try and have the text come up right to the edges of the book. For this part, it is essential that you use an isolated image. So um, you can use any image you want. Just make sure that it has a completely wide background. Select the book image and click on the wraparound object shape. And then head down to contour options. Under type, make sure that you have same as clipping selected. Next, head over to object, clipping path, options. Under type, select the text edges. And this is where the isolated images come in handy because the background is so clean that it just makes it easy for the program to detect the edges. Make sure that you have the preview option checked. And then as default, you will have a threshold of 25 and tolerance too. And here we can already see the change. Click OK. Let's add a little margin here of 0.3 centimeters. And there you have it. So if you're using a two column um, text frame here, you can put the image right in the middle. And then here I'll create just really quick, a small caption that you can have under the book. Click on the rubber arm bounding box. Maybe this will be set in a slightly different style than the rest of the text or you can move this around. So really this text wrap panel gives you so many options that you can uh, work with and include in your magazine template. Next up, we have the wrap options. So this lets you control the flow of the text. So you can either wrap the text only on the left side or only on the right side. So right now we have it both right and left sides. Here I'll change the number of columns to one and change the wrap to left side and you'll see here that only the left side of the image will get wrapped and the opposite will be if we click on the right side this is great if you're using photos in your magazine layout template because it allows you to have a placeholder for an image and then you can just wrap the text around it and you know your client or whomever is using the template can just drop an image there and it's already set up and the last thing I would like to talk about is overriding text wrap. So it is a common issue that there is a text wrap option set as default when you open InDesign. And what many people don't know is that when you open the program from the beginning, you have the option to set all of your uh, preferences. So when you open the software in the future, you will have all of your preferences already set. So I will show you how to do that now. So I'll close InDesign completely. I'll reopen it. And before even creating a new project or anything, I'll head over to Window, Text Wrap. And just to show you how um, sometimes it works when people open InDesign here, I'll set up the wraparound bounding box and I'll put 0.5 centimeters, of course, in Pika here. I'll close the Text Wrap panel and close InDesign completely. I'll open it again. I'll create a new project. Here I have already the text wrap panel open and it is already set to 0.5 centimeters. So I'll create a text panel here and you can already see that there is an offset uh, set up. So the same will happen if I create a circle. So it's already set up. So here I'll close again in design. 
open it up again. In this time, I'll get rid of the text wrap panel option. So I want no text wrap on anything. Let's close this up. Open it once again. I'll create a new document. And again, I'll put the text frame right here. And you can see there is no text wrap option uh, set up or offset in the same as if I create a circle. And now I can just go on and add my own options to the elements. So this is how you override text wrapping in design and how you use the wrap panel with the different elements. It's a really useful tool. It really comes in handy when you're designing InDesign templates. From all of us at Envato, we hope you enjoyed this tutorial and we'll see you on the next one.